Hey guys, it's me, Ryan. I'm talking about PS5. For those of you who want to order the PS5, you may want to go and actually register to be chosen. That's right. Apparently, due to limited quantity of PS5 consoles available for pre-order, they will be inviting some of their existing consumers to be one of the first to pre-order. So, if you are one of the people that are chosen to be able to pre-order the PS5, you'll get an email that will invite you to do it and you have to basically follow the instructions fast because they say it'll come on a first come first serve basis. So go, you can go to playstation.com, you have to use your PlayStation Online ID and you, and you have to actually register for the ability to pre-order. Yeah, this is weird, let's face it. According to GameSpot, here are the pre-order quantity limitations per PSN ID. You can get one PS5 console or, not end, one PS5 digital edition. You can get up to two DualSense wireless controllers, two DualSense charging stations, two Pulse 3D wireless headsets, two media remotes, and two HD cameras. So that's what you're limited to pre-ordering. But I'm pretty sure that most people are just interested in either the console or both consoles. Now, this makes sense. If you have a limited amount of pre-orders, it is kind of cool that they're like, hey, what we're going to do is everyone can register and then we'll decide who gets the pre-orders. So that's kind of cool. But at the same time, I guess it does kind of suck for some people that they have this limited uh, supply so that not everyone can get pre-orders because I'm not personally a day one buyer when it comes to new consoles myself, usually anyway. I'm actually more of the person that waits until after like the console's been out for a bit, usually like a year because then I can get a deal, a console bundle. Sometimes I can even get it used for a good price like my Nintendo Switch and my Xbox One and S are both used. But I understand that for those of you who really like those first day buys, this may be a downside because you can register, PlayStation cannot choose you, and then boom, you don't get to get the PS5 on opening day, most likely. Retailers will still have PS5, God willing, on launch day, but let's face it, as pointed out, I believe, by comicbook.com, if the pre-orders themselves are limited then on launch day they're not gonna fare too well so for those of you who really want your ps5 console on opening day go to playstation.com i'll have the link in the description below you can register and god willing sony will choose you as one of the people who can pre-order the playstation 5. but what do you guys think about this about them the limited amount of ps5 pre-orders and how do you think about sony deciding to go the route of you can register for pre-order and they choose who to invite to be able to pre-order the PS5. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.